Are you okay? Right then. So, next example from our lesson three, I think. So it says, find the value of t when p is moving parallel. So remember what we said for moving parallel. It's the velocity that we want. That's the velocity in terms of t. And if it's moving parallel to the i component, I'm saying that the j is equal to zero. Right, so I need the velocity first. So we all know that the velocity is dr by dt. I don't like having it in the i and j notation. I'm sure I've said that to you a million times. Uh, 3t squared over 2 minus t cubed over 3 in the i direction. 2t squared minus 8t in the j direction. Right, so I need my velocity vector first. So if I differentiate 3t squared over 2, that becomes a 3t. If I differentiate minus t cubed over 3, it becomes minus t squared. Uh, there we go. For a second there, I was absolutely doubting what I was writing down. Then 2t squared becomes 4t, and then minus 8t becomes minus 8. So that's my velocity in terms of time t. So if I set my j component equal to 0, I've got 4t minus 8 is 0. So I've got t is at 40 is 8, so t is 2 seconds. Oh, wonderful. Then it says, uh, find the magnitude of the force when t is 3.5. So if you remember, all the forces stuff we did was f equals ma. And you know from school that a force is a vector and acceleration is a vector. So why can't I just use f equals ma with vectors then? Because we've only done it in one direction and we can do it in more than one direction. So anyway, so I need my acceleration then. So my acceleration is dv by dt. So if I differentiate my acceleration, so 3t minus t squared becomes 3 minus 2t. 4t minus 8 becomes 4, and that's my acceleration. Now I want it when t is 3.5. Uh, does it tell me what my mass is in the question? Yeah, half a kilo. So if I use f equals ma, my force is a half times by, so t is 3.5, isn't it? So 3 minus 2 lots of 3.5 and 4. So I've got 3 minus 7, so minus 4. A half of that is minus 2. Uh, then I've got a half of 4 is 2. So that's my force. Now it wants the magnitude of the force. So then my magnitude of my force, so remember using the um, modulus sign, but not for the modulus itself. So I've got to do Pythagoras, so is that going to be 2 root 2? So the modulus of the force is 2 root 2. So the modulus, the magnitude, sorry, not modulus. Uh, do you want it exactly? Oh, we'll leave it like that. Yeah. That's Newton's if you're being really picky about your units, which you should be. Uh, right, I reckon that's done. Is there any more? Oh, no, there's another example. Wowzers, I thought we finished. Right, I'll stop this video and start another one.